is photography for you if you are a beginner exploring or thinking of exploring photography you most probably have this question on your mind right now in this video i am going to help you figure out that i am going to answer six most common questions beginner photographers have i am going to help you understand photography and also break a few myth about photography Hi, my name is Johnson. I'm a photographer and I also teach photography. Let's jump on to the first question. What does it take to be a photographer? Photography is a major profession that does not require you to have a college degree or a formal education. Of course, there are a few jobs that might require you to have a degree, but in general, photo you don't need of a degree in photography to call yourself a photographer. But that being said, to be a successful photographer, you need to have a vast domain knowledge. Photography can be divided into two aspects: the art and science of photography. Science of photography is where you understand the technology, how the camera works, how light works, what are the different properties of light, how does it influence your photography, what are the different equipments that you need for photography. and you need to understand how these works to get the best out of them and what is the art of photography the art of photography is where you use photography as a tool to create images that are visually pleasing that are uh, powerful to express an a message or a story that you want to tell so there are different guidelines and laws that can help you create powerful images an image that can it help you express the message or the story that you want to tell so the art and science of photography go in tandem with each other one has to master both to be a successful photographer another in important aspect in photography is to have a certain personal traits like to be dis- determined and disciplined because photography is not just about clicking photos it involves a lot of other things it involves planning it involves post processing it involves presentation and it involves also business skills so one has to learn how to plan a shoot one one has to know how to present the images or the the photos that they have created how to effectively present it how to market it how to sell it how to get new projects so it involves all of this so to be a successful photographer one has to be determined and disciplined one also has to be very patient to be a photographer because if especially if you are into something like wildlife photography or a newborn photography you don't really control your subject you, you can't really tell your your sub- subject how to behave when so you you most most of the time have to wait There are times where one has to wait several hours to create an image that they visualize. So patience is an important trait to be a photographer. And one of the most important trait to be a photographer is to have the burning desire to learn, to experiment and sometimes to fail. It can be a frustrating journey, but definitely it's something that will satisfy you. So these are what few things that it takes to be a photographer. We will explore a few other aspects of what it takes to be a photographer in the next few questions. The next question most beginner photographers have is am I creative? For large part of my life I thought I was not creative because we most often relate creativity to painting or drawing. But creativity means that you create something with an original idea. I realized that I was creative when I was working for a software company. I had to interact with customers all over the world and I used to write emails. I enjoyed writing these emails and I wrote them as a piece of art. One day I realized you don't have you don't have to be good at drawing or painting to be creative. 
you can just be creative in anything that you do most of us don't try uh, most of us think that we are not creative so we don't try things like which demands creativity so i believe that every person can be creative in their own domain so if you learn the right technique and if you practice those technique one can be creative just imagine this you are a photographer you in initially you just stick out your camera on somebody's face and you click a picture and over time you realize that there are different ways to create an image you try different perspective different angles you try different lightings you try different settings on your camera so you keep pushing your creative boundaries so it's not fixed that initially you might not know how to use the tool but that doesn't mean that you're not creative enough you can always keep trying exploring and keep practicing and pushing your limits so every i believe that everybody can be creative and can push their creative boundaries and there is no limits to how far you you can go about the next question many have is can i afford to be a photographer in financial terms if you want to be a pro like any other profession you need to invest of course photography equipments can be quite expensive it can be overwhelming if you are a beginner but the rewards are equally high but that being said like any other profession the risk there is a risk of failure there are certain types of photography where you can get high returns but there are certain types of photography where it is a difficult market to crack like wildlife photography you need to it's it's a very difficult market to crack because you need to be very good at it to be successful the same way if you are a wedding photographer you can start off as an amateur and you can grow upwards and in the whole process you get paid for your for your work if you are looking at photography as an hobby it is an expensive one but that being said this you don't always need to have the latest and the most expensive gadgets it's proven time and again that you can use your creativity to use the device that you have with you even your smartphone to create stunning beautiful images which can bridge the gap what a very expensive camera can do using a cheap and or, or an alternative solution the next question is what are the different types of photography there are many different types of photography mostly photography is categorized based on the subject that you want to shoot like wildlife photography portrait photography product photography or or macro photography so based on the subject what you're shooting there are, there are different types of photography so each type of photography uses different equipments different techniques for example to to shoot birds you need you need most often need telephoto lenses to shoot macro photography you need a macro lens to use to do product photography you knew you need a different set of equipments like you need a you need a prod, a box a light box you you need um you need different backgrounds and and studio lamps to to do uh, portrait photography there there are different equipments to you to do uh, landscape or nature photography you most often use a wide angle lens so th- there are different types of photography based on the subject you want to shoot and each type of photography has different techniques different equipments however the laws of photography remains the same how you use the camera how the camera functions how the lights or the flash that you're using works to in tandem with each other remains the same what differs is the techniques how um, you shoot indoor you shoot outdoor your 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 uh, equipments these are the things that changes most often the next question is how photography can change your life this might vary from photographer to photographer I would like to share my experience to give you an insight. When I first started photography, it opened a new dimension for me. I started looking at the world differently. I developed the art of seeing. I took time 
to look at things around me and appreciate it and it this helped me uh, build a strong emotional and mental health because i used to spend a lot of time thinking with myself and spending time in nature it gave me an opportunity to to spend time in the wild where i used to sit and wait for hours for to see observe the behavior of wildlife and wait for the perfect moment to capture them i developed a lot of patience in this process i also built a built a strong personality and confidence through my photography so this might might be very subjective to me but this is generally it can bring about a lot of changes in your life so i would urge anybody who is uh, who is interested in photography to to try to take the next step because it is a whole new world the last question in this video is how and where to start your photography a few decades ago photography was not available to everybody it was available only to a privileged few who had the financial backing and the accessibility to these devices but today thanks to the 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 development in technology that everyone has a camera with us you can learn photography just using your smartphone if you have the financial backing you can purchase a a, a entry level camera or there are different other ways like where you can rent out a camera and a lens to explore to see if this is something you need and once you're you enjoy it you can you can go ahead and and buy a camera and and different lenses and other equipments but the the, the bottom line is today we have the opportunity to try photography without investing much if you want to learn the different concepts in photography there are many videos available i conduct regular workshops on foundations of photography where you learn the fundamental concepts in photography to know more about it get in touch with me or visit my website at www.johnsonpeter.in hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments do connect with me thank you